Hello folks, Mike Starks, founder and CEO of Personal Trainer Food in the Mill Movement. Today is September the 5th and welcome to another Whiteboard Wednesday. Today we're going to talk about calories uh, and how calories are very deceiving and ultimately they cause defeat uh, because they're confusing and they simply don't work. In caloric theory it basically says if you eat more calories than your BMR you gain weight. If you eat less you're going to lose weight. A lot of the popular TV morning shows like the Today Show or Eat This or Not That uh, books are telling everyone that portion control and calories are the reason America's obese. I disagree and I'm willing to make a wager with them, a friendly competitive wager and I will prove it. But first of all let's talk about calories. Uh, the thought that eating too many calories creates body fat simply doesn't work because a calorie is nothing but a form of measurement. All right, It's like saying Saying an inch uh, makes you fat or a pound makes you fat. A calorie is simply a, a measurement of heat exchange, okay? So let's take an example here and let's say you eat 10,000 calories of bacon and you eat that 10,000 calories of bacon which is pork and fat goes into your system what happens well if your BMR is at 2,000 then you've got about 8,000 calories of surplus and you're going to gain over two pounds of body fat however it doesn't work whenever you eat uh, bacon or the fat it goes into your body your body basically breaks it up into amino acids because it's protein and the body fat into glycerol into fatty acids but it doesn't turn into body fat so you've consumed thousands of calories too many uh, but your body can't break it into body fat so if you eat 10,000 calories of cake all right then what happens is your blood sugar skyrockets uh, fills up all your uh, glycogen in your muscles and in your liver and then your liver converts that into body fat Putting a number on food like calories simply doesn't work. It sounds logical, it seems simple, but it's actually very confusing and ultimately it doesn't work. And here's the worst thing about calories is that especially in a woman's world, she gets up in the morning, has a bowl of sugar-free uh, something or another, eats her uh, low-fat yogurt and uh, her skim milk with cereal, uh, and then she munches on trail mix throughout the day, and throughout the day she's adding calories, because that's women think about food all the time, and they can add calories at the speed of light. So at the end of the day, she's only consumed four or 500 calories, and according to some expert that said she should have less than 12 calories she quickly figures out that she can have three or four brownies two glasses of wine she eats that she's still under her 1200 calories and according to the experts she should be able to burn some body fat but the problem is is the body doesn't work that way it's really simple folks some foods create body fat some foods do not create body fat it has nothing to do with calories so here's my wager to the today's show and to the author of Eat This and Not That uh, who claims the number one reason that America is overweight is because of portion control or eating too many calories um, is I will eat eight Big Macs every day for 10 days less the bun and that puts me at about 4700 calories every day which is way over my BMR uh, and if I do that for 10 days I should gain around six pounds if I do it for 20 days I should gain according to their theory around 12 pounds interesting enough I will bet them that I will not gain a pound I will likely lose weight because I'm just eating the meats and the vegetables, not the simple starches off of it. So today's show, uh, eat this or not that, listen up, that's my wager. If I win, you've got to put me on the Today Show. If I lose, I will buy a thousand of your books, eat this or not that, and pass it out to our customers. So let me know if you want to take the wager. Next week on uh, Whiteboard Wednesday, we're going to talk to our type 2 diabetic and get his most recent blood work and if you know of any type 2 diabetics uh, make sure you pass this on to them this could be a lifesaver for them have a great week and thank you very much stop counting calories eat natural food